Look at verse 30. Know this, it shall be given you what you shall ask, and as you are appointed to the head, the Spirit shall be subject unto you. He, he makes it clear that there will be opposition, but if you turn to the Lord, he'll guide you, not just in answering your prayers, but he'll even guide you in what to pray for. What a beautiful thing it is when, you can, when we can get beyond the, the pseudo-memorized version of our prayers, when we can kneel down or, or in our heart elevate our thoughts and occasionally ask the question, Heavenly Father, what should I be asking for right now? What are some things I should be thankful for that maybe I haven't recognized? Who are some people that I should be focusing on serving and how could I serve them? Bless me to know what to even ask for is kind of the message here and he, he assures us that it will be given to us.